Listen, man, winter is brutal. But that doesn't mean that we cannot be cute and still dress appropriately for the cold. So in this video, I'm gonna give you the tools that you need to create easy but stylish winter outfits so you can unleash and be the vixen that you were meant to be. And that's somebody's frumpy old auntie. Keep watching. I'm back. If you are subscribed to my skincare channel, you know I was back there first, but I had a little bit of writer's block when it came to what video I wanted to do next on this here fashion channel, so it took me a while. I don't even know how I should be sitting up in here. So, there are five, now, you know, grab a pen and paper, take some notes. There are five key things that I want you to have in your closet so that you can always look good no matter when, when you step out this winter. So, you got your paper and pen? Okay, let go. These five things, a statement coat, a stylish hat, stylish boots, sunglasses, and a statement bag. Those are the five things, and let's go through them and get you some outfit inspiration so you can go out and look good. So, a statement coat. You gotta have a good coat. That's the first thing people see when you go outside. Now, a lot of people wait for a special occasion to wear a statement coat because some of them can feel a bit dressed up, but I am here to give you permission to wear your statement coat whenever you want. The special occasion is you woke up today and you're alive. That's a special occasion. So when it comes to statement coats, for me personally, faux fur is one of my faves because it can add some texture and they're super, super warm. Here is an example of one that has more of a vintage vibe. Now here she has it a little bit more dressed up. Um, looks like she's going someplace fancy, but this same coat that she has dressed up quite nicely here can also be dressed down. Who says you can't wear this with some jeans, a sweatshirt or sweater or a t-shirt or whatever underneath with some cute boots to go to the grocery store. I mean, I dress like that to the grocery store sometimes. And I love these coats here. The pop of color is just like mwah. Now they did some color blocking here with the other colors in their outfits, but you can also, of course, wear these type of colors with neutrals as well. And here I am again with a faux fur coat that I got from ASOS ages ago. But of course, faux fur or real fur, you know, I ain't gonna cold pita on you, <laughs> aren't the only options. You can, of course, rock out with your wool, your trenches, and a big black puffer even. Now let's talk stylish hats. A stylish hat is something you're definitely going to need for the winter because it provides function and fashion. I love a good statement hat, whether it's a beanie, a trapper hat, a fedora, a bucket hat, a headband. As long as it is covering your head and looks good, I'm good for it. And don't forget earmuffs, because earmuffs are also something that's really stylish depending on what your hairstyle is doing, keep your ears warm, and you know, it's like a light hat. Now don't go crazy with these. You don't have to spend a lot of money to get a really cute hat. You can look at vintage shops, you can look on eBay, you can look at thrift shops, look in all the department stores. Like usually if you go to department stores like a Macy's, a JCPenney, a Bloomingdale's, and you go in the hat section, you're probably gonna find some really like extravagant hat that you're probably gonna get at a really good price. And if you do feel like, you know, it's worth the coin to spend a little bit more for something unique, then by all means, even look in the men's section, because, you know, my head is a little, you know, on the, you know, on the bigger side, you know, weave, no weave, wig, no wig. You know, I got a little healthy dome on me, right? So I usually shop for my hats in the men's section so that I can get something you know, that fits my head and fits my style. Boots are super important in the winter. Now, of course, this is gonna depend on where you are geographically. Of course, here in the Northeast, in the grand city of New York, boots are a definite must have here. So I love a good statement boot. I have different kinds diff for different occasions and different weather situations. One that I really love are these over the knee boots from Zara, patent leather. I got these a couple of years ago. They're surprisingly really easy to walk in. So like when I have something really casual that I'm wearing and I kind of want to like spruce it up a little bit, I throw these on with my faux fur coat like you see here. You know, this is a pretty simple outfit that I'm wearing here. I'm just wearing leggings, a t-shirt, the faux fur coat, and the boots. You know, it just gives it a little you know? Then I also have a bunch of different Ugg boots for the different weather occasions here in New York. So I have a short pair that I love that I wear when it's like between 32 degrees and like just under 50 degrees. 
Anything hotter than that, like if it's like 49.5 <laughs> or 50 degrees, it's probably too hot for me to wear these Uggs. Then I have a pair, I think these are Adirondack. I'm not quite sure because they're black, but they're a little bit taller than the other boot, but those are really good for like if it's like 32 to 40 and it's kind of, maybe if it's like snowing out or it's raining and I need something that is gonna protect, you know, be able to be durable in the elements, I'll wear that one. Now when it's 32 degrees and lower, AKA below freezing, I pull out my tall Adirondack Ugg boots because like I'm not trying to feel anything <laughs> on my leg. There are other types of companies that make stylish boots of course, there's Sorel, there's uh, Moon, and of course a lot of the designer brands also make like these like snow boot kind of functional weather boot kind of things, but I, personally have a tendency towards Ugg. But let me know, what kind of boots do you like to wear? Let me know in the comments. Sunglasses, you gotta have a cool pair of sunglasses. I have a lot of pair, of cool pairs of sunglasses and eyewear. So sunglasses are not only good because they shield your eyes from the sun, but they instantly add to your look if you get a good statement pair that works for your face shape and your overall style aesthetic. So I get all my frames from Utenzi Miller of Elegant Eyes. I actually did a video on this where I went into the shop, tried on a bunch of sunglasses and eyewear. And in that video, I show you the best frames for your face shape, so make sure you check that out because if you're looking for sunglasses, that's the video that you need to go to. So I have tons of these and what I do is like, if I'm not wearing makeup or, you know, I just need like a little spruce or even if I'm like fully glammed up, I definitely like to add a pair of cool eyewear to spruce up my look. Now a statement bag. Now you need a bag to put your things in. I mean, I know some people could probably like stick things in their pockets, but I feel like a statement bag, and it doesn't even have to be designer, but I feel like a statement bag can add to your overall winter look. For me personally, my style of bag of choice is you know, a crossbody or something like a messenger bag or something like that, because I like for my hands to be free. You know, I'm a little clumsy, and if it's a little slippery outside, I need my hands free so that I can hold on to the walls and stuff, because I'm not trying to fall and break a hip or anything, because you know, we kind of we kind of getting up in the age, and then, you know, sometimes it take a little while to heal, you know what I'm saying? I like to have my hands free, but you know, some people, they're a little bit more daintier than I am, so they may carry something like a doctor bag, or maybe like a cute clutch or something like that. I just like something where I can zip it up, because you know, I live in New York City, won't be able to zip that bag up because I don't need anybody trying to <laughs> dip their hands into my stuff. No, 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 don't be dipping. <laughs> I need a zipping. So a statement bag, I want you to break out of like this basic black or brown. Get something that's a pop of color, or if you have to get something that's like that basic black or brown, look for something that has a really cool texture. Maybe it's a faux croc, mock croc, or maybe it's a faux fur. Now you want your statement bag to stand out, but not so far out that it doesn't go with anything that you already own. So kind of keep within the color scheme that you already have in your wardrobe. So either wearing something that is close in color, so if you're wearing a lot of um, yellows, maybe something in the yellow family, or look for a complementary color like you know a green or a red. So you have these five items, you are going to be able to step out in the winter time and look amazing. It don't even really matter what you, well it, it kind of does matter what you have underneath because if you're going somewhere where you're taking your coat off and people are gonna see, you don't wanna take it off and have like on pajamas. <laughs> but you can have on the most simple outfit. Like I'm wearing just, you know, a sweatshirt and a pair of jeans that I got from JCPenney. So tell me in the comments, do you own any of these five items? Will you be getting them anytime soon? Get all chitty chatty in the comments. Follow me on social, the links will be in the description box and I will see you fine folks in my next video. Bye guys.